something you should know about Metro Atlanta. Each week, we pick something that you, when you live in Atlanta, may not know about Atlanta, but something that we feel like you should know about Atlanta. I'm a big fan of living here. I've been a big fan of living in Atlanta. I don't love the traffic so much, but I've been a big fan of living in Metro Atlanta for the bulk of my 55 years. I lived away from Atlanta for about nine years. I love Metro Atlanta. And so we want you to learn as much as you possibly can about it. Today, as I just mentioned, is the first day of fall. And fall weather, which you know we're not quite there yet, means corn mazes and it means pumpkin patches as well. We have some family-friendly farms to share with you. Uh, now, some of them have animals and jumping pillows and hay rides and games and more. Prices for these um, corn mazes and pumpkin patches range anywhere from $7 up to $30, depending upon the activity. Let me give you a quick list. If you are in Dawsonville, there's Burt's Farm, open September 1st to November 10th. In Buford is Buford Corn Maze, uh, open September the 2nd to November the 12th. In coming is Warbington Farms, has fun for all ages, it says. as a corn crib, swings, barnyard animals, concessions. Then in uh, Alto, Georgia, you have Jay Moore Farms. This year they have flashlight nights. So Jay Moore Farms is open September the 9th through the 5th of November. And then you have flashlight nights on October the 20th and 21st. That sounds like fun. Then you've got Callaway Gardens if you're in Pine Mountain or anywhere in that area. Uh, open September the 15th through October the 29th. In Dawsonville, you have Fawcett Farms. They have seven, They excuse me, 900,000 sunflowers. 900,000 sunflowers. I would go to see that. Dawsonville also has Uncle Shuck's Corn Maze. Open September the 16th through November the 12th. Lawrenceville has Randy's Pumpkin Patch. You can't beat something called Randy's Pumpkin Patch. They got a trackless train and a bunny petting zoo and a haunted house and inflatable corn maze and pony rides and bounce houses and concessions and a variety of pumpkins for purchase. Lawrenceville opening September the 20th. In Bogart, you've got Washington Farms. They got a petting zoo and jumping pillows and a cow train and a pumpkin patch. In Stockbridge, you've got Yule Forest open September the 30th through October the 29th. In Jasper, you've got Yahoo Farms. Everybody will be able to remember that. Yahoo Farm in Jasper. In Woodstock, you have Blue Spring Farms, Pumpkin Patch, Hayride, Farm Animals, Bounce House. Woodstock, you also have Berry Patch Farms. And in Powder Springs, you have the Still Family Farm. If you want more information on corn mazes and want to see our list, go to gogaddisradio.com, click on Contact Us, and say, Send me that list and I'll be more than happy to do that for you.